Hello, this is Bryant Myers, author of PEMF, The Fifth Element of Health. In these next couple videos, we're going to look at resonance, especially magnetic resonance stimulation in PMF devices. And we're going to see that resonance is by far the most important principle in PMF therapy and energy medicine, not intensity, as we'll see. So in physics, resonance is defined as the tendency of an object to oscillate or vibrate at maximal amplitude at certain frequencies, known as the system's resonant or natural frequencies. At these resonant frequencies, even a tiny rhythmic driving force can build up in the system to produce strong vibrations because the system accumulates or stores each applied pulse of energy. A familiar example of resonance is pushing a child on a swing, which works like a pendulum. When applied at appropriate intervals, the pushes cause the child to swing higher and higher. Anyone who has pushed a child knows how important it is to apply the push at the correct time so that the swinging will go higher and higher. In fact, when you push just right, you are pushing at the resonant frequency. In physics, we say resonance occurs when the frequency of the driving force, which in this case is your pushes, equals the natural frequency of the object, which in this case is the swing or the pendulum. Another example of resonance which many of us are familiar with is tuning forks. A tuning fork is set into vibration simply by hitting it. Doing so, it will vibrate to its natural frequency or tone, which is a single pitch that you can hear. If you place an identical tuning fork nearby, you can transmit sound energy without contact. So just watch this short video clip to see how it works. Since the two tuning forks are the same in this video and have the same resonant frequency, the first tuning fork creates a sound wave driving force causing the second tuning fork to resonate at the same pitch or frequency. With tuning forks and also musical instruments, the resonant frequency depends on the size, shape, and material used. When two objects are resonating at the same frequency, they can synchronize and connect and transfer energy and information without contact or touching. Energetically, this is exactly what PMF therapy is doing, but only with magnetic resonance. It rings the little tuning forks in your tissues and cells, and energy is transmitted wirelessly from the PMF mat to your body, organs, tissues, and cells to increase cellular voltage, improve ATP production, improve microcirculation. All those wonderful effects are happening through sort of a wireless energy transfer system of the PMF device via resonance. And this is because research has shown that different cells and tissues do have different resonant frequencies. So now let's look at wine glasses, which are a good way to demonstrate resonance and also why more is not better. Like tuning forks, wine glasses have a resonant frequency that depends on their size, shape, and thickness of the glass. Frequency resonance can make a wine glass sing when you slowly rub your finger around the rim of the glass if you have a very nice crystal wine glass. You can also tap the wine glass gently and hear the note, but it's not as dramatic as the slow and continuous rubbing as we've all experienced. Now you can make the same wine glass shatter if the amplitude of vibration becomes too great, like when an opera singer like Ella Fitzgerald, remember that Memrex commercial? Is it live or is it Memrex? Um, Ella Fitzgerald demonstrating that through her high-pitched uh, opera voice, she was able to shatter a wine glass. So this shattering of a wine glass is an example of kind of the dark side of resonance, where you can actually destroy the object if your driving force is too strong. Another example that we're probably all familiar with is the Tacoma Bridge collapsing. And this was primarily due to the aeroelastic flutter that was caused by high-speed winds that matched the natural frequency of the bridge or the structure. So resonance can be destructive if you use too high of an intensity or driving force. Using low frequency and low intensity PMF devices that have a broad spectrum of resonant frequencies is like electromagnetically rubbing your cells to make them sing with health to their natural frequencies. High intensity PMF is like using amplitudes that are too strong that can damage your cells. Your cells are not as brittle as wine glasses, but they can only expand about 2-3% to based on information I read in a biophysics book. And this has to do with the phospholipid bilayers need to be very close together to hold the cell membrane in place. 
So through unhealthy eddy currents and high-intensity PMF systems, over time you can damage the cells with unhealthy electroparesis effects. And even like the wine glass, when it's vibrated too strong, your cells can be destroyed via lysing and apoptosis type of effects. So this is one of the main reasons you want to use a low-intensity, low-frequency PMF system. Not only is it safer, but it actually works better. To make your cells sing, all you need is a little intensity. The key is frequency resonance, not intensity. You have to get the resonance right with the proper PMF signal, a rapid rise and fall broad spectrum signal. Now let's look at electromagnetic resonance, which is similar to mechanical and acoustic resonance, but instead of mechanical vibrations resonating, now we have vibrating electrons and photons that are in resonance. And of course, this is going to be more appropriate to PMF devices. But let's start with the most familiar example, which is how radios work. Consider how your radio plucks out one station out of hundreds of stations in the air. This is frequency resonance at its finest. Radios are devices that use electromagnetic fields of a particular frequency. Radios are more complicated than tuning forks, but the principle is the same, only now we have circuits instead of tuning forks. So how do you create an electrical circuit that is tuned like a tuning fork? The answer is you use capacitors and inductors in what's called an LC circuit. So before we can see how radios work, we need a brief introduction to LC or tuned circuits, along with basic antenna theory. An example of an LC circuit shown in this image here, which is also called a resonant or tuned circuit, consists of an inductor represented by the letter L and a capacitor represented by the letter C, which we've talked about in past videos separately. But when connected together in a circuit, the coil and the capacitor can act as an electrical resonator, which is the electrical analog to a tuning fork or pendulum. In fact, the equations are identical, you just simply exchange variables. Energy alternates, like the swinging pendulum, back and forth between the inductor and the capacitor at the circuit's natural or resonant frequency. So radios transmit a signal from a tuned circuit and the signal is received with the same tuned circuit, or at least a circuit that has the same natural resonant frequency. So for example, 101.5 FM has a natural resonant frequency of 101,500,000 Hz. And what is needed to send and receive a signal along with a tuned circuit are antennas. Antennas both transmit and receive the electromagnetic waves, just like tuning forks transmit and receive acoustic energy. Now, understanding how antennas radiate or capture a signal is central to how PMF therapy and energy medicine in general works, not to mention how the body itself works. So really try to grasp all of this the best you can. Any object that is electrically conductive will have antenna properties. For the most efficient energy transfer from one antenna to another, the trans Transmitting and receiving antennas will have the same geometry and are a single wavelength long. However, efficient energy transfer can also occur if the transmitting and receiving antennas are some fraction or multiple of the wavelength, which is usually more practical. The figure shown here shows a tuned transmitter circuit connected to an antenna and to the ground, the earth, transmitting a signal like an FM radio to a similarly tuned receiver circuit like you're in your car. When the values of L and C in the two circuits are resonant, an electromagnetic signal will be transmitted from the transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna. Antennas are used to both send and receive the signal through electromagnetic resonance. So when you have two systems resonating at the same frequency, you can transfer energy and information wirelessly even over great distances. To dramatically illustrate the importance of frequency resonance over intensity, consider what happened on January 23, 2003. The Pioneer 10, which was at the time 7.6 billion miles from Earth and far outside of Pluto's orbit, sent its very last weak signal to Earth and it was received from an 8-watt transmitter. So that really shows you that frequency resonance is the key, not intensity. And this turns out to be the case in PMF devices that in order to transmit energy and information wirelessly, the key is resonance. Only with the PMF device, the antennas are the coils in the mat or the applicator, and the receiver is the body, tissues, and organs and cells, which research has shown all have different resonant frequencies. I want to conclude this video by talking about something that's really exciting to me. It's where new technology is proving exactly how PMF therapy works via magnetic resonance stimulation. There's a new science of wireless power transfer where you can transmit energy wirelessly very efficiently through magnetic resonance energy transfer systems. MIT Inspired Witricity has developed different types of tuned coils that are able to transmit energy over large distances via resonance. Now, 
contrast this to the charging plates of your cell phone that you're used to seeing and your toothbrush, for example, where the device has to be right on the plate or the toothbrush has to be right in the, the dock. So those are inductive coupling and they're not really using resonance. They're kind of just using brute force induction. Just imagine being able to charge your cell phone, say, four feet away from the charging station wirelessly. And the way that Witricity has shown that you can do this is through magnetic resonance coupling, where you have two circuits that use little coils, inductive coils, that are tuned to a specific frequency, and you can transmit energy very efficiently um, over larger distances. Witricity is developing this, like for BMW, you can see this image here of a, of a charging plate to charge up some of the smart cars that BMW makes wirelessly over a larger distance. Think about that for a minute. PMF therapy devices use almost the exact same type of coil. I mean, when you look inside these Witricity inspired uh, charging systems, they're basically using coils like PMF devices, but instead of another tuned coil on the other side, we're going to have our body, which has its tissue and cell resonances. The key thing here is frequency resonance, not intensity. And when I saw the TED Talk that Witricity did, it really gave me goosebumps. I'm like, wow, this is what I've been telling people for years. It's all about frequency resonance and not intensity. And what one of the founders of Witricity on this TED Talk talked about was that in order to transmit energy wirelessly, the key parameters are the diameter of the coil and the frequency resonance. In fact, intensity is not even part of the equation. It's all about frequency resonance and using larger coils. So please do take this to heart because again, more is not better when it comes to PMF therapy. What you need is resonance. And we'll see that this correlation is more than just a metaphor with PMF because PMF therapy literally does the same thing. It wirelessly energizes all the cells in your body and it is also able to give a steady current or flows in your body, opening up microcirculation, nerve flow, meridian flow. The only difference now with the electronic devices is that they are powered by higher frequencies, where the human body responds to lower earth-based frequencies. And just to recap what I've talked about in my book and in many videos, the main frequencies the body resonates to is the 0 to 50 hertz range. So in order for this magnetic resonance to work, it has to be in the right frequency range as to resonate with your tissues, cells, and body. The word resonance depends on having the right frequency entrainment. So with the cells, that frequency is 0 to 35 hertz, and Addy and Bowen showed that quite some time ago. The tissue resonances, um, Siskin and Walker and many others, you can see this chart here, that the tissues in your body from bones to ligaments to muscles to nerve are stimulated by this 0 to 50 hertz range. Our body and brain also resonates to 0 to 30 hertz. In fact, our brain, we know from brain state research, from low delta to high beta is 0 to 30 or 50 hertz. And again, like I've mentioned in my book, the Earth itself, the Schumann resonances and the geomagnetic frequencies are in this 0 to 50 hertz range. And finally, our bodies, as Zimmerman and Seto have showed in some good research, we actually project 0 to 50 hertz frequency from our biofield, you know, that is the energy that our body emits is also in this 0 to 50 hertz range. So to summarize what we've said so far, PEMF is unique in energy medicine is that it penetrates all the way through your body to your very bone marrow and into the nucleus of every cell. PEMF acts as a whole body battery charger by wirelessly charging your cells, tissues, organs, and whole body via magnetic resonance energy transfer just like Witricity and these other new wireless energy transfer systems. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos coming soon. And leave some comments below and let me know what you think. In the next video, we're going to talk about signal processing, which is one of the most important topics in all of PMF therapy, which we're going to go over the waveform of the PMF signal, the pulse strain, and the frequency spectrum. So stay tuned for that.